assertion, although it is a unique event for this mission, has been done before. We're going to be sitting on the edge of our seats. Going to Mars is hard. There's a lot of time there for something to go wrong. But there's you know, a lot of smarts on the spacecraft that ensure that we'll probably get it right. We're on the, the quick course to Mars. But once we get to Mars, if we don't do a maneuver to slow ourselves down, we're just going to go flying right by the planet. The most challenging part, I think, is not being able to do anything if something goes wrong. There is a 12-minute delay between the time that you, you see a signal from the spacecraft and it takes also 12 minutes for you to send a command up to the spacecraft. You can't react in real time. We've added ability for the spacecraft to actually accommodate uh, things happening, things going wrong. The team has put in place a mechanism for the spacecraft to auto-recover, and that's different from previous missions. I represent a couple of missions, uh, Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Odyssey, that have been through this in the past. You'll see many white knuckles and uh, um, tense faces um, in the mission support area at JPL and in Denver. After 210 days of cruising uh, through interplanetary space, we finally arrived at Mars. A few hours out from Mars, we're going to slew the spacecraft into the orientation that we need to to perform the Mars orbit insertion burn. Right after we turn to that orientation, we begin to do the 27-minute burn. We fire the engine from the spacecraft and we slow the spacecraft down so that it can actually go into orbit. The burn itself it takes approximately 27 minutes to complete. That's a long time, and the reason it's such a long burn is because we have to slow down by a lot. We have to slow down by about 2,200 miles per hour. And when we slow down enough, we'll actually be able to be captured by the planet of Mars. The gravity will take us in and we'll actually go into orbit. Unfortunately, about 21 minutes into that burn, we go behind the planet. So we're going to lose contact with it. We are blocked by the planet for about 30 minutes. There's a lot of nail biting and stress on the team. That time that we're blocked by the planet is two minutes before we know for sure that we've burned long enough to be captured by Mars. I can attest from my personal account of that time back in 2001 where we did have that 20 minutes of radio silence, which was agonizing. The entire team is very stressed out. This maneuver has to be completely perfect. I'm watching the signal and sweating. We won't have any information telling us about this until the spacecraft actually emerges again from the backside of Mars. 30 minutes later, we should see a signal from the spacecraft telling us that everything is okay. And at that point, we should be captured in a 35-hour orbit over six months, we're going to perform this technique called aerobraking. We're going to use going through the atmosphere to get that friction to slow us down. It makes the furthest point away from Mars come closer to Mars. Once the, the furthest approach gets close enough to Mars, then we'll raise ourselves out of the atmosphere, and then we'll be in our science phase part of the mission.